Hi guys, I've had quite a few requests recently to do another hovercraft. I've uh, been asked to do a solar powered one, and I'm certainly not going to do that because I don't have any solar panels that will produce enough power. What I will do is go back to my polystyrene or styrofoam plates. Um, the electric motor out of the vibrating butterfly, or fluttering butterfly I think it is. The propeller blade out of this wrist shooter and spinner toy. And I'm going to try this, uh, I think it's 3.7 volt battery, out of my wife's waterproof camera that drowned. So I've still got the battery. Um, I'll make sure it's fully charged and see if that will give us enough power from a reasonably lightweight battery to spin the motor fast enough to give us some lift. I'm not going to give dimensions for this so don't ask. I'm just making it up from what's available from the bottom of this dish. So that's going to be my main body or chassis or whatever. I've cut some another plate up and I use that as strengthening pieces to go across. I've cut a flap in the back there, that's for the air to go down underneath. I won't fix it in place yet because I don't know how open it needs to be, how much air needs to go down and how much needs to go back for thrust. Next I need a piece over the top, like this. Shall glue that in place. Something like that. All up together. I haven't actually fixed this flap at the moment because I haven't decided how much thrust I need to go down and how much I need to go backwards. We're certainly going forwards in a straight line. And if I block the back a bit so more air goes down, it goes faster. So clearly I need to block off a bit more of the back there to put more thrust downwards. But that's working. I've sealed up the back quite a bit and I've added a couple of fins there so I can possibly give a bit of direction. Oh, that's going pretty well now. So I better do a summary. Summary time, what have we got? Polystyrene dishes or styrofoam dishes. One main one and then I've cut the centres out of several more so I've got some sides, a bit over the top, a bit at the back, a couple of fins to direct the air. Uh, that's actually a bit of polystyrene pizza tray there because it's a bit thicker and a bit stronger to mount the motor. Motors from either one of my fluttering butterflies or that one might actually be out of a little um, tape recorder or something like that. I was looking at it just now and it's got slightly different markings on it. Uh, the fan blades out of a toy, you have to look at the beginning of the video for that. I put an on off switch on it and the battery is a 3.7 volt battery out of my wife's camera. Now, I've actually soldered directly onto the terminals. I don't recommend doing that. Not a good idea, but it was a quick and dirty way of getting it all connected up quickly 
so I could do the demonstration. And it works very nicely. So, a successful hovercraft at last. There's always somebody who wants to know if it'll work on water. So there's a bit of water in the bottom of my bath. I know some of you might be concerned about using the battery that I was using for this hovercraft, so I've just tried an alternative one here. This is an E23, I've actually seen them as 23As in other places. It's a 12 volt battery, it's the sort of thing you use in some clocks use them. You can see how small it is. So, <laughs> again I've directly soldered it for speed. Here we go with the little 12 volt battery instead. So that's going quite nicely, apart from the dirt on the floor, slowing it up. You do need to have a clean floor when you're doing this. Any bits of grit or anything disturb the seal. And yes, I could put a skirt round the bottom of it, and that'll improve it. But that's going fine for me. So that'll do. That'll be the last video for a little while guys, I'm off on another holiday with the grandchildren. So normal service will be resumed shortly when I get back.